I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Jenny, who is a mother, carer, and foster carer. Uh, Jenny is currently establishing a business as a funeral organiser. She's here today to talk about something we can all hold, that we all hold close and carry around with us. Please welcome Jenny with her speech entitled, The Mobile Phone. <laughs> Wow, well, I was going to do a moon walk down there. I thought, you know, get an extra <laughs> applause from you all. But um, we Facebook Live. We are live. Oh. That's the camera over there. <laughs> just over there, Jen. Ooh, even better. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, we're all going to be using these later on to check out all our talks and everything. You've all done absolutely fantastic tonight. Wow. But the mobile phone, we've all got one, I assume. We're all guilty of having this gadget and not living without it not wanting to leave home without it, dying if you go out and you haven't got it and taking your charger out with you, yeah? Wherever you go, you plug it in somebody's phone or free electricity, I've done it. <laughs> I go into hospitals and I plug my phone in, I'm going, to, have you pack tested that? <laughs> no. <laughs> free electric, I've got to have my phone. But we rely on these so much to communicate now. It's unbelievable. It really is. I'm going to give you a little scenario of John and Jane. Can you all hear me at the back first of all? Because, yeah, John and Jane having a conversation. I need my phone for this. <laughs> John, darling, my screen wash is low in my car. Could you top it up for me by any chance? Kiss, 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 kiss. Sorry about my back, guys. John replies, Of course, sweetheart. Kiss. I'll do it in the morning. Oh, thank you, John. I love you so much. Kiss, 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 kiss. Back to John. You're welcome. No worries, <laughs> on. No worries, on. Where's my kisses? Where are my kiss kisses? Question mark, question mark, question mark, <laughs> question mark. <laughs> Hold up. Still kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Sorry, hon, I was chilling. And with that, Jane gets up, looks at John. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll ask Bob to do it at work in the morning. I'm going to bed. <laughs> but that's where we've got to. We are all guilty of this. I text my own kids in my own house. Lewis, come and get your dinner. He's only upstairs. We all do it. We're in a pub, in a restaurant, wine bar, wherever we are. We're sitting, messaging each other. We're not talking anymore. We're all guilty of it. In fact, I'm surprised. I, I went for, with my niece for her antenatal the other day to see the baby on the screen. I didn't expect to see a Samsung in the, san, in the scan. <laughs> I really did. But all jokes aside, it's one of these that made a 15-year-old boy take his own life. Now, this is where it gets serious. He hung himself last year from the tree in his back garden from a message off a phone. 15 years old, gone off the planet. Because he couldn't communicate, his girlfriend texted him to say it was over on a phone. No talking. He's gone. Sad, isn't it? Awful. So I challenge every one of you here tonight, every one of you, to teach our young people how to talk again, not to rely on this. We are the older generation. We should know better. Yet we've got used to it, having conversations with each other in short proximity on phones. I challenge every one of you Go out tomorrow, 
start talking to our youth again. Let them speak up. And Josh, your team, go out to schools, teach them, teach what you've taught us here tonight to speak up and use your voice because it could save somebody's life. Thank you all. Bless you. I thought I was going to have to reel on backup dancers here tonight. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs>